Hey Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I've got 25 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Items I bought low and sold for decent profits. All of these items sold for $35 or less on eBay. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, I picked these items up at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, Facebook marketplace, YouTube auctions, YouTube selling events, just anywhere. I love to source. Um, let me know in the comments after the video, what is the favorite item that I showed? Um, and let me know what is your favorite type of item to sell? Uh, all right, let's get started. Uh, the first item I sold is this snowman. It is a window snowman. I got this out of a mystery box and um, I'm on the wrong page here. You guys, I lied. I said 25. This is actually 29 bread and butter. I was on the wrong page. Um, so this came out of a mystery box and it sold for $35 best offer. And the buyer was all in for $64.22. Um, the packaging was a little bit big, so it did cost a little bit to ship. The next item is this Chantilly Lane Singing Grandma. And I do have a video down in the description that shows how she works. You can find that over on my reseller testing Bolo products. This thing is a little crazy. Um, but I sold this for a best offer of $22 and the buyer was all in for $30.80 and I got it at a garage sale for $1. The next item is this Bubble Guppies microphone. Um, this also came out of a mystery box. The Bubble Guppies stuff is a little bit harder to find. I ended up selling this for $19.60. The buyer was all in for $27.77. So um, don't dismiss the microphone. Some of them can do pretty good. The next item I sold is this vintage Fisher Price uh, construction truck. And I got this out of a mystery box from Auctions for You. It was a vintage toy box. Um, you can find her channel linked down below. If you're looking for inventory, it's a great place to source. Her and Donatella Bottolino team up together and go on each other's channels. So definitely subscribe to both. And this next item also came out of that mystery box. And this is a Fisher Price Little People helicopter. And this sold for $17.50. The buyer was all in for $24.80. So um, these little Fisher Price items can definitely be a great bread and butter item. The next item I sold is this Cristal de Arques. I said that wrong. That's all right. It is a circus lion. The reason I picked it up is because it had this little sticker on it and it was really easy to look up. This is a major bread and butter. Um, I, I sold it for 10 bucks and I paid $1.50 for it at a thrift store and the buyer was all in for $17.54. The next item I sold is this Calico Critters uh, Country Home Replacement Windows. And I part out Calico Critter houses all the time. It seems like every time I find them, they are missing something. Um, and plus the houses are so big that by the time you ship them, you're not really making much money because people have to pay so much to ship it. So if they're missing a door or something, I just part it out and that's the way to go in my opinion. I sold this for $17 and the buyer was all in for $23.48. My cost of goods was around 50 cents. The next item are these two Rui, I don't know, two O Ruo Rui shoes. I don't know. They're just weird shoes. I got them at a garage sale. My cost of goods was two bucks. I just thought they were different. So I picked them up. Uh, would I do it again? I don't know. They sold for $16. Uh, the buyer was all in for $33.59. I mean, I made some money. They sold decent, like at a decent rate. It wasn't like a super fast sale or anything, but it was okay. I always pick up these vintage Kurt Adler uh, ornament books. The Night Before Christmas always does well. This is a 1977 book. I sold one for $25, the same book. This one only sold for $18, which is still pretty fantastic. I paid 10 cents for it at a thrift store and the buyer was all in for $23.10. The next item I sold is this Vera Bradley handbag. I got this at a garage sale for $1. It sold for $17 and the buyer was all in for $24.79. I think it was new old stock or uh, retired, but I, I wasn't sure. I didn't have the original tag. I just had this little tag that came with it, like the special care. So I just marked it as used and disclosed um, the information. 
The next item I sold is this Leapfrog Pop and Play Piano. This came out of a mystery box. I almost didn't list this. I'm glad I ended up looking it up. Um, it sold for $18.20 and the buyer was all in for $30.26. I do have a video that shows how it works. It's actually pretty cool. And um, all of these videos are over on my reseller testing products, reseller testing Bolo products. I recently changed the name of the channel. And that will be linked down in the description if you want to check it out. This is a little Precious Moments kangaroo. It's a mom and a baby. I ended up taking a best offer of $15 on this and the buyer was all in for $22.36. I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents. Just a little plush. The next item I sold is this Fisher Price hen. You guys, this is from 1990. It's one of the chunky um, Fisher Price items. I knew it was going to be a major bread and butter, but I just wanted to see if I could sell it and how quick it would sell. And it actually sold really quick. I took a best offer of $5. The buyer was all in for $10.05 for this little hen. And it came out of a mystery box, a thrift store mystery box. The next item is this Octonauts pod. So I told you guys in another video that I parted out an Octonauts set. Um, I have a video of how I parted it out over on my reseller testing Bolo products. You can check out that video. I highly recommend you check it out because a lot of times you're going to see these and they're going to be incomplete. And you're probably going to be like, oh, I'm not going to buy it. It's not all there. Buy it, you guys. Big money. It all adds up when you part these out. Um, I sold this for $18. The buyer was all in for $25.60. And my cost of goods was probably a dollar or less by the time I parted it out. The next item is this Tommy Chuggington wooden train. So there's this one, this one, this one, and this one. And I sold all of these to the same buyer for $40. So about 10 bucks a train. Um, I ended up mixing up one of the trains with another buyer. And I ended up having to send them labels to ship the correct chain, train to the correct person which thankfully they were both super cooperative, very, very nice about my mistake. It did cost me about seven bucks in shipping labels. I think like 350 each, no big deal. It was my fault. I was happy to provide those labels. They shipped them out and these trains both made it to the correct home, but I did take a $7 hit, but that's okay. Um, at least they didn't open a return and return it. And then I had to deal with the return fee and then paying to ship it again. So they saved me some money by helping me out with that. Um, so what I did is I went to Pirate Ship and I created the labels. And then I took a picture of the label and I sent it to them through eBay Messenger so that they could just print it off and attach it to the box and ship it out. And they just, all they would have to do is put the label on and put it in their mailbox. So I made it really easy for them. But that's how I did it in case anyone is wondering. The next item I sold is this Avatar movie figure. I got this at a garage sale for two bucks and I sold it for $12.95 and the buyer was all in for $20.04. The next item I sold is this Cuddle Barn Whistling Reindeer. He was actually broken. His arms are supposed to attach in the back. There is a video in the description that shows how it works. It had the original tags, but it still sold even though it was damaged. I sold this for $11.52. The buyer was all in for $20.32. And my cost of goods was 50 cents at a garage sale. The next item is this replacement Lego set. It is just the Lego bag from Stephanie's Beach House. It is bag three. I sold this for $14 best offer. The buyer was all in for $21.40 and I got this with a bunch of Legos. So my cost of goods was probably like a buck. You guys, I sell these angels all the time. I love finding them. Um, I can usually source them cheap and they sell quick. So definitely be on the lookout. I got this for, or I sold this for $11 and the buyer was all in for $18.87. And I think I picked that up at a thrift store. The next item I sold is this willow tree figure with the brand, with the box, the original box. It's from 1999. So it is discontinued, retired. Um, I got this in a mystery box actually, and I sold it for $18. The buyer was all in for $26.89. This is what they look like on the bottom. They're really easy to look up because they give you all the information on the bottom. If you see these, they're usually a good bread and butter item. If you find um, the Willow Tree Nativity, those are the big money ones. If you can find the complete set, oh my goodness, I sold a complete set for 
I can't remember how much it's one of in one of my past videos, but it was a major bolo. This is the Opus plush um, doll. And I think I accidentally put this in my big money bolo video also. Um, I don't know why it's over here. I'm trying to find where I was at. Willow tree. I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm going to skip it because it's in another video. The next item are these salt and pepper shakers. They are silver plated. I just thought they were cool. I was hoping maybe they were going to be sterling, but they're not. Uh, but they still sold and they sold pretty quickly. I bought them for five bucks at a garage sale, sold them for $20 and the buyer was all in for $31.20. The next item that sold is this vintage cat's meow 1993 St. Nicholas Catholic Church from Zanesville, Ohio. And the person messaged me and said they had been looking for this actual piece. Um, when they have a certain city on the back, that can make them more valuable, but they are also still, um, they're more long tail because you're waiting on that right buyer. This sold for $18. The buyer was all in for $25.81 and my cost of goods was probably a dollar or less. The next item is this um, Hallmark ornament. It's Molly, an American Girl Pleasant Company, retired, and it is damaged. Um, this letter, you can see, is supposed to be long, and it's broke. I took a picture of it. And um, she still sold for $15, you guys. Uh, my cost of goods was from a garage sale for $0.25, cents, and the buyer was all in for $21.82 for a broken ornament. Unbelievable. Um, Here's the bottom. I remember I looked it up at the garage sale and I was like, oh, that's a nice little, you know, money maker. Obviously, it would have went for more if it was um, not damaged. But Pleasant Company is the vintage are the vintage items. So um, look for Pleasant Company and definitely look it up if you see it. Uh, this is a vintage collectible automobile mag magazine. If you guys watch me on a regular basis, you have seen that I've sold these before. Typically, they sell for $16.19 with free shipping. However, the person upgraded to priority mail. So that was pretty awesome. I didn't have to eat the shipping. These do have, um, what do you call it, um, advertisements in them. So you have to ship it first class or priority mail. Cannot ship them media mail. This is a Avon Gingerbread Fragrance Glace brooch. These are from the 70s. They've got uh, a fragrance inside of them. I'm just selling it as a pin costume jewelry because by now that's from the 70s. It's no good, I'm assuming. And this sold for um, $12.96. The buyer was all in for $18.85. And my cost of goods was 50 cents from a thrift store. The next item I sold is these Tupperware Tupper Toys Noah's Ark replacement people. This is Noah and his wife. And I got these at a garage sale for a buck. I took a best offer of 10 and the buyer was all in for $17.12. The next item is this Little Live Pets Dragon. This came out of a mystery box. It's super cute. I probably could have got more, but the dragon is white and it's a little bit, it's not really dirty, dirty, but you know, it just wasn't as pure white as it was when it was new. Um, I, again, came out of a thrift store mystery box. I sold it for a best offer of 14. The buyer was all in for $25.81. The next item is this Power Rangers uh, Wild Force action figure, Gendrax or something, villain toy. I got this at a garage sale for a quarter. I sold it for a best offer of 20 and the buyer was all in for $26.71. You guys, this guy's not very big. Check him out. Love selling toys. The next item are these vintage slip-on shoes. Uh, they, I use the word fold up. They're metallic silver. I got these at a thrift store for $1 and they sold for a best offer of $23. The buyer was all in for $32.12. All right, you guys, again, let me know what was your favorite item. Uh, check out the description of the video for other places you can find me. Um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Um, I've got list perfectly information. That's how I cross post. I use worth point. I've got information on that down below. Um, I use photo room. Photo room does have a free version. They also have a paid version. There's information on that. Um, lots of good stuff down there. If you want to sign up for Mercari or Poshmark and get more eyes on your items, um, what I do is I start at list perfectly or no, I'm sorry. 
I start on eBay and then I use List Perfectly to cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. And I have a demo video that shows you how I do that. And um, if you like what you see and you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. And I'm going to do another bread and butter video right after this. So, um, videos popping up, subscribe right here. Check out another video. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Leave me an owl emoji if you made it this far. Thanks for watching.